Hi, this is Courtney, the founder of Montessori Free School Preschool. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to teach your child their sounds. First, I'm just gonna show you some of the manipulatives you would use or see in a traditional Montessori classroom. Traditionally, the sounds are found on these wooden cards. Blue is for vowels, red is for consonants. These wooden cards have the letters printed in sandpaper to give the child tactile feedback. With our curriculum, we're going to use these cards. They still provide the vowel in blue and the consonants in red. Later on, when children are spelling CVC words, which stands for consonant, vowel, consonant, they will be able to look at the word and see the red, blue, red pattern, which will help them know that they're spelling the words correctly. The language we're going to use is this is, show me what is. This is, when you're presenting a sound to a child for the first time, you're going to say this is a uh, this is you're stating what the child sees in front of them once you've shown them different sounds the next statement you're going to make is show me show me a uh. you're then going to ask them to show you which one of these sounds that you presented is a uh. lastly once you've worked on show me you're going to say what is a uh? this means the child is going to show you what a uh is hoping you to understand if they've mastered the skill or if you need to go over the lesson again. In Montessori, we don't do a lot of corrections, so you won't say, no, that's not right. You can just simply ask the question again or state it in a different way. You can also ask the question to yourself. For instance, if you say, show me a, uh. if the child points to this, you could say, hmm, this is a, uh. This is z. Show me a. Uh. In this way, you're giving them another opportunity to answer the question. You didn't tell them that they were wrong, that they made a mistake. All you did was reframe your statement and then teach yourself, showing the child or modeling to the child how they can make the correction on their own. Please watch this video to see how I do this activity with my daughter. Today, we are going to work on these sounds. Are you ready? Okay. This is p. This is p. Can you make that sound? This is p. This is p. Thank you. This is a uh. this is a uh. will you trace a uh? this is a uh. this is a uh. thank you you know this one what is this one this is that's correct this is z Please show me a, uh, thank you. Please show me z, thank you. Please show me p, yes. Please show me z, yes. Please show me a, uh, Yes. And please show me p. Yes. Now I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Are you ready? What is this? Uh. Okay. And what is this? Uh. uh. And what is this? Z. Yes. This is z. This is uh, and this is p. Can you make that sound? P. Thank you. This is p. Will you trace it? This is p. Show me p. 
Thank you. What is this? This is Show me a. This is a. Thank you. There you go. Show me z. This is z, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> this is everybody. Did you hear that, guys? Everybody. Everybody. Did you hear that? Okay, next question. What is this? Once you've presented the sounds to your child, it's a great idea to give them an opportunity to trace the sounds in sand. So when I say sand, we're going to be using salt. We take salt and we add a little bit of food coloring to it. Sometimes you can let your child choose the food coloring. Mix it in with the sand or the salt. And now they have their own tactile experience. Pour a thin layer of the salt into a tray or onto a paper plate and ask them to trace ah or whatever sound you're working on. This gives them the opportunity to move their hands and there's no pencil or erasing or paper at this point. Just helping to train the hand, which will help train their mind. Children love this activity, especially when they get to choose their own color sand. Switch out the colors often or with different sounds and watch the learning take place.